I saw my life um, kind of like the woman with the hemorrhaging. She was losing for 12 years, just losing. You, you don't only lose physically, you lose people, you lose dreams. She lost her identity. So for a long time, after so many knockdowns, after so much loss, you kind of label yourself a loser. I just, I just lose. I, you, you kind of think that's all that there is. So when Christ met her, when she took that bold step, she pulled power out of him when she touched his garment. But when she spoke her story, she pulled power out of her. Mm. And that's where her identity came. So the, the, the internal healing, the physical healing came through the power of Christ. But there was power in her speaking up about her loss in her analyzing it, thinking it, allowing Christ to be in that loss. So when I get knocked down, when I feel like I'm losing, whether it's a person or, or a relationship or a job or economically, when you feel like you're losing, I've learned I'm going to take it to Christ and I'm going to tell him. I don't have to tell 15 people anymore. There, there is a good inventing, but to one person. Uh, before I even take it to my husband, and put stress on our marriage, I want to take it to Christ first. I want to release it to him. And and again, that's where he reminds me of my identity. What I loved is he doesn't call her the hemorrhaging woman that we call her. He calls her child. Mm -hmm. You are made whole again. Um, And so every time it can be once a day, once a week, whenever I feel that I'm losing, what I'm losing, he'll make me whole again. He will restore it. He will, or or I just let it go. Okay. Thank you, Lord. That was a good season. You make me whole again. Um, and whatever happened, because what we know is that when she left, she was going to have peace wherever happened. She might've lost again. I might lose again tomorrow, but I will still be a child of God and have that peace.